welcome to the demonstration with Big Data Transformations. In this demonstration, we are going to create a metadata file for a CSV data file. This demo covers creating metadata files that contain the definitions of data sources or targets, such as flat files, database tables, and pipes. These definitions include file format and field information. The metadata that we create can be used for defining multiple data sources and targets used in job scripts. In IRI's Workbench development environment, there is a wizard that aids in creating metadata or data definition files. These files are also known as DDFs. We will create the metadata file for the CSV file salesin.csv, located in the project metademo. Double click on the file. The file then displays in the center section of Workbench. To begin, in the menu bar, click on one of the icons for creating a job. For Field Shield, click on the arrow next to the shield. For Cosort, click on the arrow next to the stopwatch icon. Or, click on the arrow next to the IRI icon, where the Discover Metadata Wizard runs independent of any job scripts. The steps are the same for all. In the stopwatch drop-down, select New Sort Job. Folder contains the name of the project. Click Next. This brings us to the Data Sources screen. Click Add Data Source. Make sure that the File's Radio button is selected. Now browse to the file, salesin.csv, and double-click. Click OK. On the Data Sources screen, select Discover Metadata. This wizard will attempt to discover the field definitions for the file salesin.csv and place the definitions in a DDF file called salesincsv.ddf. Workbench will add the DDF. Click Next. Yes to allow the data to be scanned. The preview window displays the first two lines of the file. Since this is a CSV file, you can see the header record and the first line of data. Make sure the checkbox to get field names from header row is checked. Notice that the comma separator for the fields was detected. Click OK. The data source identification screen verifies what the wizard detected. Click Next to accept the findings. We are now at the Field Data Viewer and Editor. The top half of this screen displays a few lines of the data file. The bottom half displays the definitions that were detected, which includes field names and positions. Type defaults to ASCII. You may change type to a more appropriate data type. To change sale amount to numeric, click on Type for that field. This brings up the data type list. COSORT has so many data types that they have been put into categories. Expand Common Types. Double-click on Numeric. The data type for sale amount has now been changed to Numeric. Notice that in the Data Viewer, the field column for sale amount is highlighted. Click Finish. Expand the Specification Metadata icon in the tree. You see the CSV for the file or process type and names of the fields. Click Finish. In the Project Explorer, double-click on salesin.ddf. The DDF, or metadata file, that we just created is displayed using the Data Definition File Form Editor. Here we have the option to edit the file that was just created. It may be that the data file being used has changed, or a type for one of the fields may be changed. For example, the field transaction date may now be the first field in a record. In the tree, click and hold on transaction date, then drag to the top of the field list. When you look at the position numbers for the fields, the numbers do not match the positions in the tree. Click on Reposition Fields. Now the numbering matches the tree. Now that we have this DDF file, it can be used in any job script that uses data where these definitions can apply. 
This concludes this demo where we use the IRI Workbench Metadata Discovery Wizard to create a metadata or DDF file which can be used to define CSV input or output in job scripts. Thank you for watching Data Transformation Creating a Metadata File for a CSV Data File. For more information, you can visit us on the web at www.iri.com. Thank you.